The coastal region of Honavar in Karnataka is witnessing unrest and protests over a port construction project. First you tell me what are the problems in the first union? Government has you give a first amke gamcha one hour kasa puttam ka che first crust kitte mun loka le tras kitte mun temka you kar ka amke le dole duk temka putna stan rauna temka temche bhi bhare jay na te. Behind the agitation lies the fishing community's fear of losing access to coastal resources and livelihoods. They also fear for an animal that is protected and revered in the region. The olive ridley turtle. Under the central government's ambitious Sagarmala project, India is witnessing a flurry of port-based infrastructure and development projects. Given the boost, Karnataka's 320 km coastline now has one major port and 12 minor ports under different stages of development. Plus, plans for rail and road networks that connect the coast to the hinterland. While the projects promise to create a strong import export infrastructure within the state and boost its economy, at least 3 ports that were under development have run into trouble after facing resistance from local communities. One such project is the Kasarkod Tonka port at the mouth of the Sharavati River in Honavar. The fishing community of the Kasarkod Tonka villages have been protesting against a road construction that would connect the upcoming port with a highway. Mashla chanan so to mashla para te dalla samka. At karna hai me. Mashla sukhe cha jai na jag bhi gele. Gaadi sumare ta ek 25 gaadi hoye ta ek pana strip marte. वही धूल धूलार सुत जंप जत्ता अच्छ स्कीड जत्ता गाड़ी के लोचो तो सट जता भूगी खेलता है हंगा भीत भीत अच्छे गर तो वॉश करीत रोका तमडे तमडे रेड 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 कलर जाऊन घर एवरी इयर होनावर प्रोड्यूस फोर्टीन थाउजंड टन ऑफ ड्राई फिश विच इज एक्सपोर्टेड टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड साउथ ईस्ट एशिया The traditional fish drying business employs around 15,000 people in Honavar and generates rupees 350 crore of revenue per annum. Communities fear that the road construction and the port development will put an end to their jobs. Women in particular will stand to lose if the fish drying business gets affected. Like 2,000 women from that village use that area as the coastal common to dry their fish and that's their only means of livelihood. so the whole fight behind the road is that you are encroaching into my coastal common which is protected under the crz law which gives me the rightful you know validity to exercise my livelihood whereas the road is not as per the czmp map uh, demarcated as per the 2011 crz law that's a crz 3 ndz area no development zone a road is absolutely not allowed The road has led to another issue. The area is an active nesting site for the olive ridley turtle, an animal that gets the same protection as the tiger under India's wildlife laws. In fact, the entire Honavar coastline is an active turtle nesting site, and the fishing communities are its protectors. They also worship the turtles as an avatar of the Hindu deity Vishnu. Olive ridleys return to the same beach from where they hatched to lay their eggs. and if their habitats are disturbed or destroyed it could prevent turtle nesting in the future a fishing union filed a petition in february 2021 in the karnataka high court alleging that the port is being constructed on a turtle nesting site but their petition was dismissed in november 2021 after a court appointed government research institution submitted its report declaring that no turtle nests were found in the 45 hectare area the survey was conducted in august when the turtles don't nest moreover the report indicated that the turtle nests were in the sea and inland none on the shore the mangroves and the estuary on sharavati are an important feeding and breeding ground for fish in such a habitat experts warn that the construction of breakwaters and river dredging could affect mangrove health and fish populations Prakash Nagappa Mista, a marine biologist from Honavar, has been closely studying the Sharavati River and the erosive Honavar coast. The river course is changed and the river mouth is shifting towards the north. It's a fragile ecosystem and the development uh, is a sandbar 
uh, created by the waves long shore currents it's a created by the it's a accreted land that's why it's not a stable land stable sandbar and uh, uh, not feasible for uh, any port activity because it's a high eroding coast in uh, crz 2000 uh, 19 notification high aero port and jetties are prohibited activities in the high eroding coastal area Honavar is a microcosm of the port-led developments playing out across the country which often ignores people living in the vicinity of the project. The fishing community has filed complaints at the Karnataka Coastal Zone Management Authority and has also taken the matter to court. Atte private port company jala ti jala mante government to tam ka supply karte bare udyog dite help karte job mante mante kasa ritin help ho jata job jata तेजे एजुकेशन अंग तेजे शिकले लांगचे कोणी ना ते शिच मासले मार्केटिंग आ कंपनी नोती फिशरिंग मार्केट आ मीनू गारके कंपनी नोती ती कंपनी जाऊनचे दुसरे ते ते इल्लीगल ते मगेल ते कंपनी जाते मॅग्निसा कंपनी मॅग्निसा आमगे गावा नक्का ते ते कंपनी जेन आमकां तुलो लाभ ना नष्ट च तुम मस्त नष्ट च ते आमका तोंदरे जातता ते कंपनी जेन जले रापडे ती कंपनी आमका नक्का आमका आमका जाऊका जले रा आम्ही मासले सुकोन गेन जीवन करन गेन आम्ही मार्केटिंग करन गेन जीवन करताय